everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Prison Architect. We're gonna do some stuff just before we get started here. We just learned that, uh, you know, our forestry program, kind of working as intended now. Uh, I'm just gonna install a few extra doors to get into the yard, because I think I'm realizing now that this is why my, uh, people, my prisoners, I should say, suck at actually not rioting is they just take some like a really long time to filter in through one door and kind of a similar thing may be happening in our canteen here this might be why we have riots it might not be but hey I think it's worth giving it a try like let's dismantle like this wall and uh, I don't know like this wall and we'll install some metal detectors there it's gonna take us a minute to get it set up and in the meantime they'll probably steal about a hundred spoons but hey it's gotta be done Metal detector right here. All right, just wait for our workmen to come by because I really don't want to take too long on this one. We're starting to make money. We got all the grass installed out here. It was cost prohibitive, but we did it anyway to make our uh, area a little bit more beautiful. And I think that's a reasonably good decision. Don't walk out through the... You gotta go through the metal detector. Rules are rules, guys. I wonder how many contraband freaking spoons we have right now just kind of walking around in our prison not just spoons knives as well don't forget about the knives all right these are all wired up that's good news genuinely because prisoners are suppressed ish I think we can start uh, maybe reintroducing the or reintegrating the prisoners uh, back to a level where they're all like maximum, minimum, and protective are all hanging out. It kind of mitigates the purpose of even having protective custody. But if we don't need protective custody because nobody's getting murdered, maybe that's worthwhile. Let's check out our uh, confidential informants again. Suspicion level's real low. Let them, uh, they usually walk to security, I think. Can't remember. I guess it's sleep time, so maybe they're not ready yet, but we can uh, at least, like, contraband informants look. Snitch ex-law enforcement. Con confidential informant. Volatile stoical. Strong stoical fearless. You know what, Conan O'Brien? Welcome to maximum security for now. We might not have a uh, maximum security in a little while. I hope that we don't. I hope that we can reintegrate everybody properly here. Tough stoical. But you're in, um, protective. Guy's, like, almost legendary. Lots of stoical people. That's fine. This is okay. So we're, we've got a lot of trees, you know, that are sprouting here. We just saw a couple go there. I'm gonna see how many superior beds we're actually able to produce. We've only had a couple of people actually make it through the program, but that's okay. Nine finished, two passed. That's not the... Uh, you know, percentages that I would be hoping for, but that's okay. Kitchen safety doesn't run anymore. Foundation education, we're getting like halfway to what I hope is getting to the point where we're going to finish our education reform, but I can't be totally sure. New prisoners arrive in two hours. I'm going to make sure to check out the bios, because I think I forgot about some of those recently. Why would you sleep on the pool table, my friend, when there are four beds in here with fresh clothes on them as well? Hey, there we go! We actually caught a prisoner, and you said I was stupid for putting that metal detector there. Yes, maybe the prisoner is a little stupid for, uh, you know, walking out there with a hammer through the metal detector when he could have just wandered, like, almost anywhere else in our prison and been relatively fine. But hey. Does this area, like, does it need lights or something? I'm just wondering why we can't see in there, but I guess it's because we don't have a guard. You know, this is maybe another situation where, um... Why don't we, like, demolish this wall right here? And by demolishing this wall, and then we'll install a drain, um... Again, they can filter in and out of our shower room a little quicker. Because maybe that's been our big problem with riots. They're not suppressed, and they're, uh... You know, in a situation... We spent a lot of money right there. Uh, they're in a situation where, uh, you know, they can't shower because it takes them 15 minutes just to get in through the freaking doors. That would annoy me, you know? As much as I like to put on this, oh, high and mighty, I'm the warden face. Um, we just had prisoners and I missed them. Oh, they're on the truck still. Okay, good. It's my bad. Nothing special. Nothing special. Here we go. Liam Shorty Short. 
arrested for breaking the Data Protection Act and the assault of an officer with a letter opener. Working in a postal room, Liam was caught opening his friends' and neighbors' private letters and using what he read to blackmail them in many sick ways. Gross. John Johnny Phantom Arpin. After numerous bank heist simulators, Johnny Phantom decided it was time for the real thing. He busted into the nearest bank and shot two security guards, making off with $27,000. His plan backfired when he assigned his chinchilla as the van driver. Classic mistake. Uh, what about you back here? Here we go. Ainsley Chalk Ice Soresby. Ainsley Shock Eyes Soresby stole 166 manhole covers between 1985 and 1993. He was eventually caught holding up a Domino's Pizza store with a chorizo. Ainsley is an average dancer and has kissed over three women. I like that bio a lot. What you doing here? Volatile ex-law enforcement, so you immediately get put into protective custody. Killed and tortured 27 people in a neo-Nazi experiment facility doing live human testing. He was born and raised in Derbyshire, the United Kingdom. Damn, dude, that's pretty sick. At least we managed to get him off the road here. That doesn't always happen. Oh, we had another one here that I missed, but uh, there we go. At least we got to see them. Has this been demolished yet? No, here, yeah, there we go. Our workmen finally figured that out, and maybe we can actually see a little bit better as well. Oh my god, we're spending so much money on trees. Seems like every time I start doing better financially, something happens to set me a little bit back, but uh, I think it's still worth it. I mean, the trees... Oh my god. Really? We just had like a terrible incident in the yard. Tell you what. Um, staff, armed guard. Congrats. Welcome to outside. Very expensive to hire. But... Uh, armed, armed patrols. There you go. This is your job now. Enjoy being suppressed in the yard as well. In fact, that patrol should be changed a little bit. To be, like, just up here, not down here. There we go. <sighs> you think you can trust some people, but, uh, but, uh, but you can't. Here we go. Trees are popping. Gardeners installing new trees. We just lost, like, $2,000 a day as a result of that riot. But our exports are coming along a little bit. Hopefully we see some more beds actually get sold today. Still some prisoners on the truck here, even though it's uh, 3 p.m. That's where things start to get a little concerning for me, but it's because we've got trucks that uh, aren't making it through here. Any minute now. Well, it's not as bad as it was when we got close to the end of our last prison, so I don't mind that too much. Is it time to, like, take out a loan so that we can expand our prison? 26 prisoners have serious complaints. What's up with that? Recreation? What is it? It's like 5 p.m.? Well, you got free time. Just just handle it. You have so much free time on a regular basis. How much time do you blow every day? Just don't riot, and I don't care. Again, like, if, maybe if you spend less time rioting and more time playing pool, you'd be in a better position. Sorry, playing billiards. Are you... We got one dude left here, uh... Tom Ashby. It had to happen, didn't it? Can we just, like, execute him? So when this happened last time, it was because, like, some doors were set to open. We have guards that aren't doing anything. Like, this is the whole reason I had guards set up out here. There's armed guard, guard. Whatever. If you don't get to come in, you don't get to come in. Maybe it was because we were doing some construction at the same time. Okie dokie. All of our first round of trees have now been chopped down. It's pretty good. I would very much like to... Oh, we did escort that prisoner eventually. Or he ran away. So it's really just this gentleman here. And it should be sleep time soon, which means he should be able to get in. When he gets in, though, he's gonna be pissed. Like, sincerely. Very angry about the fact that he, uh... I mean, he has no, uh, privacy. He has no comfort. He's starting to starve to death because he hasn't had any food. He really needs to sleep. Surprisingly, he doesn't need to pee that much. I guess that's because he hasn't really, uh... Had the opportunity to eat very much, either. That's justifiable, I would say. 
Has our valuation gone up a little bit? 260? It's going up so slowly, like I spend $15,000 to raise our valuation by $10,000. I mean, I'm earning money in the process, but still. I'm amazed at how many trucks we have on a regular basis coming through. You just open this door. Just come by and get this prisoner out of here. Tom Ashby, I would not hate you if you just walked away right now. I wouldn't. I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to give you like six hours of lockdown to, to reset the queue, but this is what happened is we got a little bit bigger on our last episode as well. Or our last season, I guess I should say. Alright. Can you install more grass here? It doesn't look as grassy as I would like it to. This is like a hundred and two hundred and ten dollars. I don't think that'll actually uh, work, but I think it might. Oh, did we get him? No, nope, there he is. Hello. Hey! Finally! It only took uh, nearly 24 hours of him sitting on the road for that to be handled. But hey, that's okay. Better late than never. Alright, prison value is going fine. If we go to finance, or where's loans? Grants. We can increase our bank loan. Maximum loan is only $25, though. As you make regular payments, your credit rating will increase and the bank will allow you to borrow more money. However, if you miss payments, your credit rating will be decimated and the bank will refuse to lend you when you need it. Note that your loan will never be paid off by daily interest payments alone. Okay, let's try to, let's take a loan. And, uh... We'll increase it. And then we'll increase it. And increase it. And then, we'll decrease it by paying it back. Is this how this works? This is exactly how credit works in real life. Take like a $2,500 loan, and then pay it off immediately. I don't think that actually gave us a credit rating bonus. Oh well. Did we lose a ton of money in the process? I don't think so. I think we're at exactly the same amount. No new prisoners arriving today. Which should make sense. Um, we have license? No, trees. I'm trying to get a, my business set up here. After my business is set up, then we will, uh, we'll talk about actually, like, allowing more prisoners and maybe taking on, like, we can't take on a very big bank loan. We could sell, you know, some shares in our prison. You'll still be able to continue running this prison, but you can only sell a prison once all profit will be transferred to your new site. Sell shares. You can get 25000 for 10%. What happens if we buy it back, though? It'll be too expensive. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure yet. I know this is something that's, uh, you know, intended to, to be done, is do, like, a starter prison to get money for your next prison, but... At the same time, I can't help but feel that that's sort of giving up in our in our situation right here. So we're making license plates. What's our export situation like here? Eh, not very good. We did have a riot though, that'll put a kink in anybody's day. 90 prisoners are suppressed out of 94. Maybe that's bad because they're not motivated to work too much, but uh, I think it's pretty good. Because it uh, means that they're very unlikely to riot as well. So we made 760 from exports there. That's that's pretty darn good. I'm starting to think... Well, if we do an expansion, we have to make a new canteen. Let's... Before we do a sale, let's sell some shares. So I sold 20% of the shares in our prison. Uh, if we sell it, we will only get 256. That makes sense to me. We're going to build our foundation out here. And I'm not going to sweat too much uh, the actual... Oh, I'm not going to sweat too much the actual uh, size of it. It's going to be 4,000. Uh, but we're going to set it up like this. It's going to be a big expansion. How much is this going to cost? Only 8,000. That's not so bad. And this also should not break the wall, which is something that I'm very much hoping for. So we'll install a staff door here quickly, just to make sure that uh, the workmen can actually do what they want to do. And we're going to make, um... Actually, you know what? F it. We're going to buy this land, too. It's going to be 20 grand. 
The reason we did that is because that required us to load the game as well. Reload the game. The reason we did that is because I want to, um... I want to make sure that we have a foundation that's also large enough to give us space to make a new canteen. And this, like, little weird space here is not going to be large enough to give us a new canteen. It's great for cells, maybe, but for other stuff, I don't necessarily think so. So I think our guard capacity is basically fine for the amount of prisoners we have. I think our yard is somewhat suitable. Um, but we could have... Uh, we need a bigger kitchen... It's going to take forever for the people to actually get there, or the, for the chefs to actually get there, but uh, bigger kitchen, big canteen, uh, maybe a faster way for people to get to the yard, like we'll, we'll demolish this, and we'll demolish that, and we'll plan for how this is going to go, but for now, um, put some electrical cables down here, like so, yeah, I mean, we could make do with this. Wish there was a button that was almost just like expand electricity. Like you have an existing electrical network and just fill it in as it goes. Oh, that's not what I want to do there. I'm clicking and dragging from all the way back here just because uh, why not, basically. This game's getting a little framey here. That's okay. Don't worry about it too much. I guess in utilities mode it's a little bit different because it's modeling a bunch of stuff, but it's alright. So I think our prison, our, our prison, I was going to say prisoners, but I think our prison is relatively self-sustaining right now. That could change in the future, but uh, this, this allows me to take some time to actually think about expansion. Because I'd really like to get a huge valuation. We have a ton of time before um, Alpha 26 is going to come out, probably at least another two weeks or so. It's only October 4th, or maybe three or four weeks, so uh, I wouldn't mind having like one really good prison. That sells for like 500,000, if we can get that high. Like, what do I get if I sell now? Only 240. Uh, and then, get a prison that's like really, really well done. And with, you know, 200,000 plus grants to start with, I think that's, that could be pretty huge for us. Should really install a fence around the entire outside, but whatever. We've already spent almost all of the money that we got from uh, selling... The shares in our prison, so we got to be maybe slightly cautious about this. But I'm relying on exports. I mean, I think that's pretty obvious, but I'm relying on our exports. Wow, 1560 yesterday. That is crazy. If we can just get more prisoners to actually start making beds, which we're getting close to, um, we we can maybe start making enough money to uh, fund our own expansion, buy back parts of our prison, and then sell for more, I guess. Please just finish the uh, installation here so I can at least get started on infrastructure. So again, this is not going to be our canteen. These are going to be like cell blocks with hallways. And we'll probably try to install like a fenced off hallway through here so people can easily get to the, the yard and like, uh, I don't know, this canteen, visitation rooms and stuff like that. It's got to be almost done. I'm happy that it's daytime just so the lights come back on. And this is also a big day for me, just to see if we can actually uh, have our prison run without incident, really. Because I'm not going to be paying attention. I'm going to be paying attention to the workmen who are now super tired. Nobody uses our staff room. Is it like a size thing? Because the staff room is so small, people don't want to... Uh, or we, we can't physically fit more people inside of it? Like, I know that's the way for the kitchen. Is like, there's enough space for more people to be there, but they just choose not to be assigned there because of it, the fact that it's smaller. I don't know if that's true, but we'll see. So this is very nearly done. Please tell me this won't break the uh, the fence. That would be a big issue for me. I guess we would just rebuild it, but still. Um, we're making money. We just made a ton of money on exports, I think. N maybe not. It popped up and said we made like a thousand bucks from exports. And again, less of a prison, more of a business, but maybe that's okay for now. Please just finish this. I know you're tired. Just get it done. I think it's my fault for uh, setting up the electrical cables to be installed. Which is going to take forever. Oh, we just spent some money on uh, reform programs. That's okay, you know. That's got to be done. This guy is real tired. Take some time. Go to the staff room, man. That's what it's there for. But instead, we just have our warden in there. What do you even do, warden? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. 
Just making sure our tech tree was completely done. Which, of course, it is. No incidents thus far today. What is it? You're searching our workmen? What did he... Our the workmen just searched... I guess he wasn't searching the workmen. He was searching, like, the, the, the wires. Still, weird. Um, let's take some time. Get our informants active again. They're, these informants are super good. Suspicion is low. Uh, and they have coverage of, like, one of them is 50%. Before this video ends, if you could just, uh, you know, finish building this foundation that I set out, that would be great because, you know, that'll give us more money. Or the capacity to make more money, at least, which I think is sort of valuable. I could hire more workmen, but uh, I really figured that they would just do the foundation first, considering that, you know, I'd set that up first. But maybe they had a bunch of electrical cables in stock, and they were just like, let's, let's get that done before anything else gets uh, too wild here. In the meantime... We wait, because I don't want to hire more workmen. Because I'm mad that the workmen that we have choose not to use the staff room for reasons that are unbeknownst to me. 33 prisoners have serious complaints. Is it food? Good. It's recreation. Uh, that kind of sucks. How do we make prisoners have better recreation time? Uh, well, we could do, you know, the old-fashioned, uh, I'm not sure if this is recreation or, like, family. Install another, oh, jeez. Install another bank of phone booths out here. It's expensive. But we do have a lot of prisoners now. And install, like, some pool tables outside as well. I don't know if they actually use them when they're outside. We'll see if this helps out, though. Come on, Foundation. You're so close to being done here. Exports. 1560 still. We've Oh, we produced four superior beds. We're getting there. Do we have superior beds in our um, exports area? You really should not be allowed to be in here, the deliveries area. I know that I, I understand how you're getting in, but that should not be possible. All right, so that's a lot of money on lights. Seriously, why come out here if you have contraband? Is the silliest thing. And, uh, we're gonna... We're gonna build a canteen kind of, like, foundation area here. It's like this. This is gonna be very expensive, but it's much bigger than our other canteen. So we're in this for, like, the long haul. And I guess we'll, we'll have a kitchen attached to it as well. We've, we've spent almost, almost all of our money, we haven't even really done anything in this area yet, but... That's okay. I guess we're probably not going to get this done before the next episode, but at least we got to work on an expansion here in the meantime. And... Alright, well, you know what? It's, uh, it's what, 10 p.m. Let's let some new prisoners in. Like so. We have 15 coming. We'll have prisoners that are due to release soon anyway, so we can hold them in our holding cell for a little while. And we'll quickly check on needs. They're about to sleep, so... It's family and recreation again. Well, the pool tables are going to take a while to install, so I guess that's uh, not... Uh, it makes sense. Let's just put it that way. We're also going to need to install some large piping. Just start out doing it like that. And like that. And we'll have this go down here as well, because this is how we're going to wire up uh, our cells. Speaking of which, uh, we also are going to need to make brick walls here. Oh! Perfect timing. Two escapes today. So, remove tunnels. I'm very scared about uh, how many people might be able to get out of that. You should seriously, like, get that tunnel taken care of as soon as possible. Escapes zero today. Did we catch him? Or did the day just... Oh, the day just ticked over. Alright. Well, and we have a riot. Where's the riot taking place? It's nighttime. It's not a riot. This guy's just mad. Like, really, really mad. Why are we making so much money now? Is that an exports thing? I hope it's an exports thing. Ooh, baby! $3,000 in exports yesterday. Our forestry area is starting to be a little bit uh, fantastic here, I'd say. There's still a fence there, right? This fence looks different than this fence. Maybe it's because we're installing pipes in it right now. Okay, I think it's fine. 
Uh, again, we're just waiting for more prisoners. I'm also waiting for, uh, well, they're gonna take me away. Here we go. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting for, uh, you know what? Let's hire another workman. I'm waiting for this tunnel to get figured out. Where does it go? Oh, jeez. Oh, man. What the? I'm just mouth agape right now. Yeah, that's... Did people just tunnel into my prison? I'm a little confused about this. Where did those people come from? A bunch of naked people just popped out of this hole in my prison. Well, anyway, uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode because this is madness. But as always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.